My dear students, welcome to Unit 4, Week 12 in your Individuals and Societies course for Grade 8. This uh, week extends from the, 20, uh, from the 26th of May till the 30th of May. We're going to start this week with Lesson 1, uh, your summative presentation. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to deliver engaging and impactful presentation across various settings and audiences. Our word wall is going to include deliver, engaging, impactful presentation and criteria. Um, first of all, I've, uh, I have put for you the presentation rubrics. I would like you to go through it and look what exactly uh, am I looking for in your presentation. You're going to watch a video about how to deliver an engaging and impactful presentation. Um, I have uh, attached uh, Prezi site for you if you want to craft your presentation instead of using PowerPoint. Um, there's another video tutorial too, which is about mastering your presentation, an interactive activity, further uh, practice and further explanation. The challenging question for this time is going to be a link where you're going to answer challenging questions, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to revise everything you took throughout uh, pressing on what's next picture. For lesson two, you're going to um, you're going to recognize how does culture depend on time, place, and space, and you're going to recognize uh, multiculturalism. Our word wall includes culture, space, time, place, environment, multiculturalism, environment, and uh, innovation. You're going to watch a video about how does culture depend on time, place, and space. And in, an, in the interactive activity, you're going to work in pairs where you're going to apply skills and knowledge in unfamiliar situations. You're going to read through the following scenarios and discuss the different ways in which living in each scenario influences the cultural identity of the society. Then you're going to watch a video about multiculturalism and take effective notes. For the interactive activity too, you're going to read sources A and B in pages 120 and 121, and uh, you're going to do an activity, a further practice, challenging question, of course, self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, again, I have put a link for you to make it, you know, engaging and interactive, where you're going to press on what's next uh, picture to take you to an activity. Um, for lesson three, you're going to uh, explore how different organizations create their own culture. You're going to recognize how different organizations create their own, their own culture, and you're, you're going to recognize how conflict can threaten culture. Our word wall is going to include leadership, values, vision, communication, tension, hostility, uh, fragmentation, and values clash. Our word wall, uh, sorry, uh, you're going to watch a tutorial about how different organizations create their own culture and take effective notes. Uh, then you're going to uh, do an activity, um, which is culture and organization. You're going to use brainstorming and visual diagrams to generate new ideas and inquiries. In the small group of yours, you're going to consider what impressions these organizations give about their culture, like Google, McDonald's, Apple, the Armed Forces, Starbucks, and you're going to draw a sketch, a mind map or diagram to show your ideal school culture. What would it look like? How would this affect the environment, behavior, attitudes, and values of people in the community? Um, I put a site where you can use, uh, which you can use for diagrams. Then you're going to watch a video about the cultural heritage in armed conflict, the 19. Uh, 54 uh, Hague Convention, Convention and its two protocols. Uh, this is from the UNESCO, of course. Then you're going to take action. You're going to create a class action project and uh, on protecting the cultural heritage of the world. Further practice. At the challenging question this time, you're going to uh, discuss how do the values, leadership styles of CEOs influence the culture within their respective organizations and what specific methods do they employ to shape that culture a self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow i would like you to do the, the the activity three to one bridge where you're going to individually write down three thoughts two questions and one analogy about the word culture 
I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect.